Hello everyone, my name is Raj. I am from the University of Advancing Technology and today I'll be creating a tutorial on how to create a unit and make him path along the screen. Um, this will be the first of many tutorials on how to eventually make a full-fledged RPG in the Galaxy Editor. So, step one, open the Galaxy Editor, of course, and I'll let it load up here. Then go to File, New, and we're going to create a new melee map. Uh, choose whichever texture you like, doesn't really matter. And now, step one, I'm going to create a unit. So I'm going to search for a marine. You have to click on the unit tab up here. And then I search for a marine. And I'm just going to click marine and it makes a little marine brush. And you can just plop down a marine. I hit escape to get rid of the brush. And then click on him and then double click down here at the bottom left to um, change his properties. And I'm going to change it from player one to hostile. So that way he's controlled by the computer and not by me. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple paths for him to go. So we'll have uh, some waypoints. So click on points. And then normal points. And then we're going to just give him some points to walk around with. All right, so here's just a nice little square for him to work around in. Um, the next step is we're going to create a region. So you click on regions. And then whichever brush you want, a square circle. Oh. That is not what we want. We want a big brush. Oh my god. Was <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and get rid of these regions. And make the correct size. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so, moving on. Now we're going to go, we have everything we need to have him path around, so we're going to go into the trigger editor, which is F6, or modules and triggers. And now we have a bunch of different options we can do. First thing I'm going to do is create an element, call it move marine. And this is what I want to be called every time that he walks into my region 1. So, first thing I got to do is put in an event trigger that says whenever a unit enters or leaves a region. So, just double click on events, type in region, and select this. Now, for right now, it says any unit that enters an entire map. We don't want that. We obviously want it for our region that we created. So click entire map, click value, region 1, and then it'll say any unit that enters region 1, which I want to change that to my marine. So that way, only the marine gets commands when he enters region 1. So now we have an event, so what actions do we need? Well, we need him to move around to our different points. So I'm going to say issue an order. And this is going to allow us to create an order that's created whenever he walks into the region. Um, we do not want just an ability. We want him to move to a point. So we're going to change the order by double-clicking on it and going to order targeting point. So this way, he's going to use an ability towards a point. So, obviously, the triggering unit is going to be our marine. Our ability command, we can choose out of this big list of things, but I'm just going to choose attack. So, we attack moves, like a normal mob would do in any RPG. Um, targeting point, since he's already in point 1 when it's triggered, we're going to put him on point 2. And then we're going to say after existing orders, so that way we can queue up a bunch of commands and not have them replaced. So now we have one command saying move to point two. I'm just going to copy this and paste it a couple times because we're also going to need this for point three, point four, and then back to point one. All right, so now we almost have everything we need. The only thing that we're going to need now is to make sure that we trigger the event the first time. So we're going to have to say on map initialization, he's going to have to move over to this region one. So we're going to click on this top, and you see melee initialization. The event is map initialization, which is perfect. I'm going to go copy this from Marine 1, where it just says, hey, attack move to point one, and I'm just going to paste that into the actions. So now, when he is created, he's just going to walk straight into region 1. So, we should be done there. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do after making one more of those region boxes for some reason is <laughs> I'm going to create a zergling. Actually, two zerglings. So I can actually kill this marine. And also show you what's going on in the map. Um, so, 
data. I'm going to change the Zergling site radius so that way I can see a little bit better. So Zergling, click on that, and then you go down to Stats Site Radius. Change that from 8 to 32, so that's the max amount of vision that a unit can have. So now it should have everything we need to watch this going. So I'm just going to hit this, and we're going to go ahead and watch.